Hello guys, and welcome to another video with Destination Discovery, joined by me, Matthew Smith. And in this particular video, you'll see my overnight coach journey. Um, something different, so we've got an overnight coach journey from London, sorry, in the heart of London, to Dublin, Ireland. Uh, it's a travel hour coach ride with Eurolines, five Irish ferries. It's a three and a half hour ferry crossing from North Wales. Um, into Ireland, and then from there I'm exploring uh, Ireland and Northern Ireland. I visit Belfast, uh, and I get a nice surprise in the Christmas market, which I wasn't expecting. It's a bit outdated now, I know, because it's January. This was done back in November. However, um, you'll see what the Christmas markets are like out there. Um, I spent too much in that Christmas market, if I'm entirely honest with you, um, but I'll leave that down to you to decide, and I hope you enjoy it. For now, I'll leave you with some facts about both Belfast and Dublin, and I'll join you later on. Hello, let's get started shall we? Dublin is the capital of the Republic of Ireland and is located on the east coast of the country. County Dublin is the third smallest county in Ireland, but a third of the country's population lives there and its current population is currently 1.45 million. Dublin has the youngest population in all of Europe. Approximately one third of the population are under 25 years old. In 2010, Dublin was recognised as the UNESCO City of Literature. This highlights the rich historical literary past of the city, as well as the vibrant literary scene today in the city. You may already know that Guinness is brewed in Ireland at the world-renowned Guinness Brewery at St James's Gate and is one of the city's major tourist attractions. But did you know that the company holds a one-of-a-kind 9,000-year lease for the property and it doesn't expire until 10759? The Irish drinks plenty of it, with almost one in two pints consumed in Ireland every day is a pint of Guinness, to be precise. There are also lots of green spaces, including Europe's largest city park. The Phoenix Park, located in Dublin 8, is an impressive size of 707 hectares, which actually makes it the largest park in the world after Central Park in New York. The park offers a host of attractions, including the world-famous Dublin Zoo. It is also home to the President of Ireland. Now on to Belfast. Belfast is the capital and largest city of Northern Ireland and stands on the banks of the River Lagan on the east coast. It is also the 12th largest city in the United Kingdom. Northern Ireland is a relatively small country with around 1.885 million residents, which is way lower than the rest of the United Kingdom. However, most of the residents of Northern Ireland live in Belfast with 700,000 residents. Belfast is home to Ireland's tallest building and bar. Belfast's Obel Tower stands at 85 metres with 27 floors. Belfast was the birthplace of RMS Titanic, the world's most famous ship, which was constructed on the docks in the city during the early 1900s. Unfortunately, Belfast over the years has been filled with conflict, a lot of it related to the troubles which took place from the 1960s until the late 1990s and took place in Belfast, and at the time the city was an incredibly dangerous place to be. Guys, so uh, today I'm doing something slightly different and actually nearer to home than usual. So today um, I'm getting an overnight coach from London Victoria Coach Station in the heart of London, all the way to Dublin Basara's bus station. Um, actually, this coach service stopped just when COVID began. Um, I'm not sure when, but it only recently came back. Uh, it's operated by Eurolines, um, but now it's subsidised by Bus Iran, which is a bus and coach company based in Dublin Island uh, so I'm going to try that out see it's about 12 and a half hour coach journey 6 p.m. this evening we'll arrive at 6 30 tomorrow morning um, it's about a two or three hour ferry crossing from Hollyhead it's got one stop on route calling at Birmingham coach station uh, before going to the services then on to Hollywood and then the coach uh, ferry sorry uh, f across and then tomorrow, I'm going on to Belfast by train 
and then back to Dublin Airport to get British Airways back into London City Airport. I haven't been there for years. Uh, it's one of the hardest London airports to land at because of the tall buildings. You can only land on small aircrafts. Um, so let's see what that's like tomorrow. But first, we've got to get through uh, this. So currently, I'm at uh, Purley. Um, I always park here when I'm going into London, especially Victoria Coach Station, because it's cheap parking and it's easy to get a train from here into Victoria where I'm uh, going to, uh, so I've parked up early, and then I'm going on to East Croydon, change there for London, Victoria, get off there, and I've got about an hour and a half there before my coach on to Dublin. Let's see how this trip goes, shall we? I'll join you at some point later on. A new place, a new home for a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back Take my time, just enjoy the ride I know man, passing by Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in it So where I can find myself I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky I found my way, I found my way I was in the dark, against it all, but made it through the day Cause I found my way, I found my way Times, I know I'll be okay Cause I find my way So now I've arrived at Victoria, I've had my dinner for tonight, uh, which is McDonald's, uh, in preparation for a 12 and a half hour coast journey, I'm just about ginger. So right now I'm outside Victoria Place, uh, which is above the station, and I'm now off to Victoria Coast Station. Let's go and find my coach, shall we? On the motorway towards North Wales, um, we arrived about half an hour late. The coach was about half an hour late uh, arriving here. A bit of traffic leaving London, um, but the coach isn't that bad. The only downside I find, especially as it's an overnight coach, is that there are no plugs, sockets, and uh, charge the mobile devices. Um, which should really be on there, especially if it's an overnight coach. Most coaches have been on there, have them, and there's literally nothing to charge your devices. And uh, luckily, I've got some battery packs with me, but that's not the point, really. Um, but, I mean, uh, this should make the ferry tonight. Um, 
It's currently 10 o'clock at night. Uh, I'll see you again with my I'll join you in a few hours' time. Hello and good morning. It's currently 2 o'clock in the morning here. Um, just uh, got off the coach um, and now on the Iris Ferries. It's a three hour crossing. Uh, should be into Dublin about 5.45 in the morning. So I'm currently on Iris Ferries now. Uh, it's looking good uh, so far. Uh, everything's on time. I'm going to get something to eat from the cafe and I'll see you in three hours' time. Hello from Ireland. I'm currently at Dublin Basaris, which is the main bus and coach station in Dublin, where most of the bus and coaches drop people off here. Um, just arrived. It's half six in the morning. Uh, so it's actually quite a nice journey, actually, on the coach, to be fair. Um, yeah, and apart from not having anywhere to charge my phone up, um, apart from that, it's actually quite smooth. I would choose that over a plane any day. Um, so, the plan for today is what I'm going to be doing now is heading to Connolly train station. I've got an hour uh, to wait until a train uh, over to Belfast. Uh, I'm going to spend about four hours in Belfast before getting a coach back to Dublin Airport and then British Airways from Dublin Airport to London City Airport. Uh, I shall get back to you later on. We got time on our side, we're in a state of hope I need you on my fire, I want you to know That every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way We got everything here, at least to stay alive
I'm back in the UK. I've made it back to the UK. Currently standing outside Belfast Lanyon Place train station in Northern Ireland. Uh, two and a bit hour train ride. Actually, it wasn't that bad. I had a charging point and not the coach. Uh, funnily enough, uh, it's only a two hour journey. Got charging points and you go on the driver and a half hour journey and you get no charging points. But hey, I've made it now back uh, into the UK. Currently at Belfast. Um, got three hours here before catching the coach uh, back to Dublin uh, to the airport to catch my flight this evening. Uh, let's have a look around Belfast, shall we? A sunny day, but it's cold outside. It tingles in my heart. Breathing air that clears my mind I'm all for a good start I hear those jingle bells People singing about love It feels like I'm a kid Like I'm forever young And that's why I wanna sing about The Christmas on its way A reason to hang around And celebrate this day Everyone's mine and it's snowing, it's the time of year again I'm happier here, my winter wonderland I'm walking around making small talk with people that pass me by I share a laugh, it gives me joy That everyone's having a good, good time I hear those jingle bells, people singing about love It feels like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young And that's why I wanna sing about the Christmas on its way A reason to hang around and celebrate this day So I'm now at Belfast Europa bus station and uh, that was a bit of a surprise journey uh, today. I wasn't expecting to see the Christmas market. I know it's the end of November, uh, but I didn't know it was there, so that's a good surprise. Even though I don't trust me to go to Christmas markets alone. I spent nearly £45, which I wasn't expecting, uh, on various stuff within the Christmas market. But so, as I'm sure you can see from the videos I took, actually it was quite a good Christmas market. Uh, a lot of variety of things. I would definitely recommend people to go to this Christmas market um, it seems really good I mean I like to I spent £45 on stuff uh, but anyway uh, so I'm now at Europa bus station waiting for the uh, X2 coach operated by Translink which is a Northern Ireland company uh, which will then take me to Dublin airport it's about an hour and 45 minute coach ride I've got about an hour to wait here to the coach uh, and then I'll get back to you at the airport see you then Please you You don't know how much I 
and hello from Dublin Airport. I'm now in Dublin Airport. Um, everything's been on time, which is really good. Uh, so, yeah. Um, my flight's at ten past five. It's currently half two, so I've got about two and a half hours here with all my flight back. Uh, I'm travelling into London Stansted. Uh, sorry, not London Stansted. Ah, oh, Mars Ray. I think I'm with Ryan there. Then I can always am. No, uh, I'm travelling uh, into London City Airport. Uh, so, and London City Airport is one of the hardest airports out of all the London ones to land at, mainly because of uh, the buildings and because it's in the middle of the city. Um, only small aircraft can land there. Uh, aircraft are patrolling on today's in Embraer 700. It's a two to two configuration, so only two seats on either side instead of the most of the flights which are three on either side. Uh, so it's a small aircraft um, just uh, for uh, London City uh, so we can land. It's a small airport as well uh, and I'll join you later on. Hello everyone and I hope you liked the video and my overnight trip to Dublin and almost to Belfast. Now it's time to put my bus brain on again and let's see how much this trip all cost me. First, I shall start with the Eurolines coach from D London to Dublin, which came to a total of £50.99 pence, or €59. Euros. Next, food and drink whilst in the UK on the way to Dublin cost me a total of £13.35 pence, or €15.45. The onboard ferry Wi-Fi, which I had to pay for, costed £11.15 or €12.90. On the ferry, I paid for some food at a total of £5.14 or €5.95. The snacks and drinks whilst in the Republic of Ireland costed a total of £33.66 or €38.95. The train ride uh, booked through Irish ferries from Dublin to Belfast costed me £13.82 or €15.99. Snacks and drinks whilst in Northern Ireland costed £28.78 or €33.30. The coach from Belfast to Dublin Airport booked through Translink costed a total of £10.50 or €12.15. The flight from Dublin to London City, which was put via eDreams, only costed a total of £9.16.60. So, what is the total cost? Let's see, shall we? The whole trip came to a total of £176.55, or in euros, €152.50. So, it's not really that bad, to be honest. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's the end of it, and I shall leave you there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button to get updates uh, when I videos. For now, happy travelings. Until next time, goodbye.